I'm Katherine Dorsett with today's blog report. Today's hot topic, proposed military base closings. Now you may have heard the Pentagon is recommending that 33 military bases be slashed across the country. It's part of a restructuring program to slash thousands of jobs in the hopes of saving billions of dollars. Now as you may expect, politicians from states affected by these cuts are fighting mad. The battle is not over. We will continue to uh, uh, give a vigorous defense of the military missions of these installations as we go forward. This is, in my judgment, it's a bad decision. Uh, the Pentagon was dead wrong. Despite opposition from many politicians, the White House supports the military's need for transformation. This is part of making sure that we are doing our best to confront the threats that we face in this day and age. Among the states losing the most jobs, Maine, Mississippi, Connecticut, and South Dakota. Affected communities will be offered support and assistance through the Office of Economic Adjustment following the completion of the process. The Pentagon recommendations now go to the Base Realignment and Closure Commission for hearings. The final list then goes to the President and Congress for a vote. Of course, this controversial story is keeping bloggers very busy. A check at a website at blog.mises.org finds a post from Ryan McMacken. He writes, it amazes me when congressmen fight tooth and nail to prevent military base closing in their districts. There are usually much better uses for the land that bases occupy, uses like, oh, say, private enterprise. In Denver, closed bases have become health care campuses, neighborhoods, and business parks. Ken Gregg from Las Vegas also posted a comment on this website. He writes, there's a large demand for housing here and property values have increased at a greater rate than at other parts of the country. It's only inevitable that the market will push out the military. This may in some part be true for Las Vegas. Other cities across the country who have faced base closures have often survived and flourished from the experience. However, that doesn't stop some residents from fearing for the economic future of their communities. Take residents in Portsmouth, New Hampshire and Kittery, Maine, for example. More than 2,000 Portsmouth Naval Shipyard workers used their lunch break today to march to the yard's front gate. They strongly oppose the Navy's recommendation to take away their jobs, obviously. The workers here are trained to do one thing, overhaul nuclear subs. Finding similar work's not easy. Disillusioned would probably be the best word for it. Uh, I graduated from a pretty good engineering school with a pretty good GPA and I could have worked a lot of places, but I wanted the stuff I did to mean something and the work here is definitely has a purpose and serves everybody. And finally, one other point of view on this controversial topic. A blogger from waldo.jaquith.org writes, There's an old congressional re-election trick. It goes a little something like this. Convince somebody on a congressional or military panel or even a U.S. senator to propose closing a military base in your district. Then you can swoop in, oppose the closing, and save it. You're the hero, and re-election is that much easier a year or so later. Now, although this is a stretch, there could be some truth in this message. After all, anything is possible in Washington. For the Blog Report, I'm Katherine Dorsett.